with no injury or suspension problems, Motherwell manager Tommy McLean has still resisted the temptation to change the side, which beat St Johnston 4-1 last week. So this season's cup scoring hero, Steve Kirk, remains on the bench, where he's joined by Ian Ferguson. And Motherwell will be looking once again for more inspiration from Davy Cooper. He's now 35, and the former Rangers winger is bidding to play in his seventh Scottish Cup final and lead Motherwell to their first final since 1952. Morton manager Alan McGraw brings a settled side to Fir Park. Midfield player Alan Mahood is still to celebrate his 18th birthday, and there are three former Motherwell players in that lineup Ian McDonald, John Gagan, and Dave McCabe. He's Morton's leading scorer with 18 goals this season after spending two years at Fir Park without scoring for Motherwell. And the referee this afternoon, Mr. Les Mottram from Wilsontown, joined by the two mascots, Matthew Ross from Shots and Stuart Graham from Lanark, who are carrying SFA fair play pennants. Ideal conditions then for the Stennant Scottish Cup quarter-final. These two sides have not met in the Scottish Cup since 1935. Indeed, it's only the fifth time in history they've met in the Scottish Cup. And they're the first work for referee Les Mottram. The challenge there by Ian McDonald on Dougie Arnott. So a free kick to Motherwell. And that last match in 1935, Motherwell won a second round tie by seven goals to one. That's unlikely to be as clear-cut as that this afternoon with Morton coming into this match full of confidence. They had a fine performance here in the Skull Cup early in the season when they lost after extra time by four goals to three after having a goal chopped off in the last minute of the 90 minutes and the score was 2-2. So they clearly believe in themselves for this match this afternoon. The header came from Boyd. That's Collins. Morton operating a three-man central defence with Doak and Reed the markers, Hunter the sweeper. Both fullbacks, Collins and Pickering, pushed into wide midfield positions. And the Motherwell free kick will be taken by Craig Patterson. Motherwell opting for the small strike force of Arnott and McLeod, preferring their quickness to the aerial part of Cusack. There goes Cooper to the byline. He's away from Collins. Griffin's headed back across the face of the goal. It was left there by Hunter. But David Cooper making an early impression on the proceedings. That'll be a matter of some concern to the modern defences. Look at the way he takes on Derek Collins. He's a very good, quick fullback. But Cooper easing himself away from the fullback for that cross. Griffin trying to head that to the far post. A fine start for Cooper. Good timing there by Griffin. Reed looking for Collins. Look how quick Boyd was to get to that. They have to go again. McDonald picks up the loose ball. There's Collins. Space again from McDonald. Headed away by O'Donnell. This is Angus. Showing good control. Getting help from Griffin. Who reacts to Boyd's call. Dope getting in there. McLeod. Morton looking very eager indeed. He's a chance for Gagan. Brilliant goalkeeping by Maxwell. Well, the best chance of the match so far. Carved out by Morton for John Gagan. But what a great ball this is from Ian McDonald. Opening up the Motherwell defence. Gagan going in there for the first time shot. But look how quickly Maxwell goes down. Head flick on from Cooper. Here's Arnott. Taking a run there to the left. There's Pickering with a header. Now Patterson. A dummy by Arnold. It releases Cooper on the left. This is promising now for Motherwell. O'Donnell looking for the ball in the middle. There's O'Donnell beaten to that by Reed. And Brian Reed is having an outstanding match for Morton in defence. This is another excellent ball from Davy Cooper looking for O'Donnell, but Reed was in across him first. Headed away by Doak. There's McCabe holding off Boyd. Boyd got a foot in there. Cooper couldn't keep the ball in play though. Oh, what a foot for thought here for Tommy McLean in that 
Motherwell dugout. This is McCabe. Oh, he's very quick indeed off the mark. Leaving Tom Boyd. Gagan with a cross to help. And Craig Patterson did another good job in defence for Motherwell. Well, he's been holding that Motherwell defence together in the first half. The former Rangers centre half. But what an electric piece of acceleration by McCabe. Gagan coming across to help. And Patterson keeping his eye on the ball. Ian McDonald's corner. Uh, not back in defence. And reading very quickly on Davy Cooper. Well, he's had a very impressive first half, the young centre half. Griffin helping it on. He has Arnold in space. He's in behind Doak. Griffin supporting him from the middle. That's good play by Arnold. A great chance here for Motherwell. And it's cleared on the line by Reid. It was a superb move from Motherwell. And Joe McLeod couldn't believe that. Dougie Arnold did such great setting up work here with this run on the left. He looked up. He spotted Jim Griffin making that run into the position behind the defence. He laid it square to make it easy for McLeod and Reid edged the ball to safety. Oh, what a superb move from Motherwell. Let me give them some inspiration. There goes Patterson. Wiley beating the ball away. Gagan taking no chances. Wiley complaining he could have taken a pass back. Angus to Cooper. Looking for Angus again. Cooper wants it back. That's a brilliant turn once more. Joe McLeod's header. And Dougie Arnott turns the ball over. Well, suddenly, Motherwell have come out of their shell. Fine play involving Cooper and Angus. Two men with excellent ability on the left side. And that ball hooked across there for Joe McLeod. And Arnott turned it over the bar. McDonald at full stretch there, the ball's not out of play though, Arnott retrieves it from Motherwell. Good play there by Arnott, the tackle came from Reed in the end, Pickering losing out to McLeod. And Doak turns the ball back hurriedly there, and Motherwell have a corner kick. Well that was made out of very little by the snapping attentions of Arnott and then McLeod. That was McLeod with his tackle, Angus putting pressure on Doak. So Motherwell seem to have just stepped up a gear in the last 10 minutes or so. They certainly had to because they were on the receiving end from Morton until that point. That's a great corner. Beautifully taken by Wiley. Well, the kind of catch which inspires confidence in defenders. There's Pickering. Okay, helping it on, but there's plenty of time there for Boyd to use Maxwell. The header there from Brian Reed, who has recovered from that face knock. So no scoring at half time, but it's Morton undoubtedly who took the early honours. And they were denied the lead by a magnificent save from Alistair Maxwell midway through the half when he swooped on a John Gagan shot. But then at the other end, it was a goal line clearance by Brian Reed, which denied Joe McLeod. Otherwise, Motherwell would have come back after their improved play late in the first half. But at half time at Fur Park, it's Motherwell nil. Morton nil. It will be very interesting to see what changes are made in the second half tactically in view of the way the flow of play ran in that first half with Morton taking the early initiative and performing extremely well. Well, we're just showing in a couple of bursts in that period. But the first half honours undoubtedly belonging to Morton. And there's Chris McCart having to be careful with that headed pass back. Good piece of defending. And the change has been made by Motherwell. They brought on Steve Kirk to replace Ian Angus. So the Scottish Cup scoring hero is on the field, playing wide on the right for Motherwell. That means some tactical alterations. Kirk wearing number 12, playing wide on the right. Ian Angus has been replaced in the centre of midfield by Jim Griffin. 
This is Cooper. Losing his bearings there. Down goes Collins. A tough landing there for young Derek Collins. A foul committed by the Motherwell skipper Tom Boyd. Cooper lost his bearings there, allowing Collins to come forward. There's the late tackle. Well, Tommy McLean offering some instructions from the dugout. So more defensive work from otherwise. McDonald pitches the ball into the area, but Maxwell's in all sorts of trouble. Rowan Alexander looks to the heavens in despair, and this was one which certainly showed uncertainty in the Motherwell defence. It's played in by Ian McDonald. Maxwell, the reason not only to him, starts to come for this. It appeared to be one he could have left to his defenders, but Alexander got to the ball, and it looked just over the bar. Although we're getting nothing at all out of these long high balls down the middle. Alexander to Mahood. The tackle came from O'Donnell. And these two having their own personal battle in midfield, O'Donnell and Mahood. And this Griffin. Doak. Releasing Pickering over on the far side. Nihal read that superbly from Motherwell. Kirk under pressure from Mahood, the youngster does so well to win that tackle. There's Craig Patterson going across. But the referee is going to take some action here against Luke Nyholt. A little bit of frustration creeping in, Nyholt committing an infringement there. In the midst of that hectic activity which results in the first booking of the match. The Morton fans certainly enjoying this match to the full. So here was Pickering, and there was the late reckless challenge from Nyholt, which resulted in the booking. Pickering leaves it to McDonald. Wins the high ball the first time and the second. There's Mahood. Snatched to the shot. And the young man clearly with a very promising future. Free kick from Ian McDonald. Headed away by McCart. Look at his determination here, going for the ball again. A bit too high at the point where Mahood made contact. Kirk the target for the high ball. Reed got the near ahead of him. This is Boyd. The offside flag is up. It was Steve Kirk, I think. Perhaps also Phil O'Donnell. Well, there have been further alterations in the multiple tactical setup. Steve Kirk has moved into a central position. Joe McLeod has moved out to the wide right position. Kirk clearly now being asked to support Dougie Arnott through the middle. Good header there by McCart. This is Boyd and O'Donnell. Good running by the youngster. Fine play. McLeod free of the right through the middle is Arnott. This for Arnott. Turning inside, Hunter is great play by Arnott and a wonderful save by Wiley. The ball is still in play. Here's Cooper. Making for the byline. Measuring the cross is cleared by Reed. Suddenly Morton are living very dangerously. That's a great ball though by Gay and a chance for Morton on the break. And a superb tackle by Boyd. Outstanding play by the captain. And Motherwell clearly inspired by that break made by Phil O'Donnell a moment ago. Here's Kirk. Nowhere to go there in that area. McDonald and O'Donnell clash. There's Kirk playing it towards Cooper. There's Dave McCabe and forward it goes from McCabe. All the credit here goes to Phil O'Donnell. The way he stepped away from a couple of challenges in that deep position. Looked up. Look at the way he's checking on all the possibilities. Then he picked out Dugiano who spun away here. Uh, from Jim Hunter, and the save from Wiley was vital. And in the midst of all that, Mother will have made another change. They've brought on Ian Ferguson as a substitute to replace Joe McLeod. So another change in the Mother will fire part. Ferguson beaten in the air by Hunter. Breaks there to 
Reed, here's Mahood and McDonald. Collins coming from the deep position on the right, running at Boyd. Well, the play is allowed to continue with McDonald in possession. Advantage rule was applied. Didn't come to much though for Morton and Cooper releases Ferguson on the right. Arnott waits in the middle. Cooper trying to get into the edge of the box also. Played across there towards Arnott. Reed makes a good headed clearance. Complaining bitterly that he was pushed by Arnott. But it is a corner kick the model. And suddenly now we appear to have a real cup tie in our hands. Here's Ian Ferguson looking up all the time. Trying to pick out the correct ball into the box. He was looking there for Arnott. And Reed got there first. Cooper's corner kick. Of course, Patterson well is in some trouble. Turned in by Kirk, it won't count. A foul by Arnott on Wiley. So the cheers of the Motherwell fans stifled. We'll see why from this replay. Wiley in trouble. Arnott then leaning in in front of the goalkeeper. It was beautifully turned in by Kirk, but the whistle had already gone. Bouncing ball for Arnott to hold up. Well tackled by Hunter. There's Griffin looking for O'Donnell. The interception made by Collins. This is Alexander. It really has been an excellent performance from Morton. Good running from Mahood from midfield. Running into Patterson. Here's Gagan with a chance now. He has Alexander free in the left. And an excellent shooting opportunity is passed up by Rowan Alexander. Well, what fine play it was from Morton. We really have been the better side throughout the bulk of the match so far. That ball played forward by Gagan. Tough tackle, Patterson Mahood. Then Gagan stepped in. He had Alexander making a good run to his left. That was an, an excellent chance. The throw finds Arnott. Oh, Boyd playing it in early. Fergus almost got to that. Well, there's the scoring instincts of Ian Ferguson shown there. And she came in for this ball. It's the long throw there from Cooper finding Arnott. Eased the ball across to Boyd, and it was Ferguson trying to get across the front of Reed. Headed away by Doak. This is O'Donnell. That's a good pass. Cooper. Doak stood his ground. This is Griffin picking up the loose ball. Allows Boyd to take over. Here's a chance now. O'Donnell trying to control it for Ferguson. Well, two Motherwell players appear to have an excellent chance there, but neither made up his mind to go for goal. Here's a chance for Ferguson. This could open the score of a Motherwell, and he was in a hurry with the shot. Disappointment there for Ian Ferguson. Such a prolific goal scorer over the years. This is a great earlier chance, though. O'Donnell and Ferguson together. Ferguson caught off balance, and when the ball was clear, it looked as though Morton had mopped up the danger. But then, as the ball was played across there by Alexander, another chance popped up. It was played into the path there of Ian Ferguson. He had to try to hit the target with this, but he failed. Up goes Phil O'Donnell. Cooper goes to collect. Looking for Ferguson on the right. Headed away by McInnes. Here's Gagan. Not quite what he intended, but the ball found Brian Reed though. Here's McCabe. Now Alexander. Morton making a late flurry now to try to win the match. Through it goes to Mahood. Good play again by young Alan Mahood. He's had a fine match for Morton, continuing his football education against Premier Division opposition. Linking up here with Rowan Alexander. Trying to find a clear shooting chance as he was tackled by Patterson. So we've had more than two minutes of injury time. There's been a lot of it though, so it could be a little bit more to come. Collins with a header. Here's McCarthy in the middle of the field. Back it goes to Patterson. Lashed forward there towards Arnott. Appeared to be pushed, but the referee ways play on. There's Kirk. McKinnis, uh, Fowler rather, with the clearance. There's no more action. Morton have earned the replay. And indeed, that's something they cannot possibly begrudge on the evidence of this afternoon's play. Indeed, 
legs for long stages of the match was a better side. Young Alan Mahood was outstanding in the middle of the field for Morton and their supporters celebrating on the far side and behind that goal. They've had a magnificent performance from their favourites but Motherwell was a lacklustre overall display which will not please their manager, Dave McCabe. The former Motherwell player goes off. It will be a fascinating replay in midweek at Capelo. The final score at Fir Park. Motherwell nil, Morton nil.